Hello and welcome back people. My name is Reza Afshar. This is Chris Bridgen. What is going on in China? Downloading unauthorized versions of the Bible is now an offense in China. Internet users there have noticed that with other Christian books, the Bible is unavailable from online shopping websites such as Amazon China, Taobao and JD.com. According to state media, these companies face penalties for selling publications which they say adversely affect society. Uh, today's uh, development about uh, online versions of the Bible and downloading mm -hmm. the Bible, uh, explain that. What's that about? Besides downloading, the ban also applies to any sales. For example, you know, Taobao is the equivalent of eBay here. And uh, so any online portal, uh, uh, so individual sales of religious books. So far, Quran is still allowed. Um, you know, at the last minute I checked, but I think most people, uh, those portals have taken down Bibles sales. But you can go to uh, physical stores to buy them, but not, not directly online anymore. But why are they doing this? What's, what's the aim of uh, restricting access to the Bible? Control. But it's not quite right, is it? It's religious freedom under the terms of, of, decided of, by the of government, Chinese Communist, the Communist Party. Party. Yes. Well, with more on this, we're joined from uh, Midland in Texas by Bob Fu of the China Aid Association, which campaigns on religious liberty uh, issues. Uh, Bob, thank you for being with us here on Impact. Uh, just on uh, today's story you, about uh, the Bible, um, what's your response to that? Well, James, uh, this is uh, really just a part of the picture showing China under Emperor Xi uh, has come into uh, really a new cultural revolution. I mean, we have seen, uh, we have never, we have not seen such thing like uh, confisc confiscating Bibles, uh, you know, like uh, um, uh, even burning uh, the Christian literatures in Xinjiang. And now the uh, Bibles is taken from the bookshelf of the e-commerce uh, stores. And uh, we uh, have uh, seen last Friday uh, a Chinese pastor a Chinese American pastor was uh, Zhang Tao was sentenced to seven years for purely doing some humanitarian, you know, educational work. And uh, and this week, and uh, the Chinese uh, Beijing government start attacking even a Christian uh, managed uh, kindergarten in Beijing. Uh, so this is uh, really just uh, showing the religious freedom uh, in China has entered into the worst uh, period of time uh, that not seen since the end of the Cultural Revolution. Last year alone, according to our own documentation on the ground, uh, over 220,000 Christians alone were targeted uh, for persecution and over 3,700 were detained. Uh I, I gather that there was another white paper about 20 years ago on this same subject, which you've been looking at. I mean, what differences yes. have, have you noticed? Oh, the key difference is uh, there is uh, much less tolerance uh, even than the 20 years ago. But right now, in many, many provinces like Henan, Anhui, Zhejiang, and certainly in Xinjiang, Tibet, and uh, believers cannot even have a, a private uh, prayer meeting in their own homes. And uh, the party secretary and, uh, you know, uh, local cadres searched home by home and took away the cross on the wall of the believers' homes and replaced with the Chairman C's portrait picture. And um, we have seen uh, many uh, over, you know, 2,000 crosses uh, were forcefully removed from the church building okay. and many even churches were totally torn down. So biblically, should we be surprised about this, Chris? Well, no, uh, Matthew uh, 24 verse 9, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And we are seeing this more and more. And as it said in, in the news report, things have got worse in the last uh, 20 years or so. There is, they are tightening, really, really trying to control the distribution of, of the Bible. As we know, I've seen reports that uh, China is growing so quickly uh, in Christianity. And I think they're just afraid. They're afraid mm. of losing power. And uh, they're trying to control it by the distribution of the Bible through do downloads and uh, restricting it to hard copies in shops. So um, it's not surprising considering what we've seen happen in China over the last few years where there have been 
pulling down churches. They've been taking down the cross on the top of churches. This has happened on, on hundreds of churches. Mm -hmm. And uh, people have been imprisoned for uh, holding home study Bible groups. They've been in prison. So uh, it's serious. It's re it really yeah. is serious. And again, it comes back to control and mm -hmm. power. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, well, well, the church uh, used to be really powerful, really, really powerful. And they're probably scared of that power. They don't want to lose power, do they? No, no it's so, just, it, I think the whole is a power struggle, isn't it? The, the mm -hmm. line, the darkness, it is a power mm -hmm. struggle. It's it's um, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. So we're, we're kind of seeing this and um, it will get worse, guys, because it says, and you shall be hated of all nations for my namesake. And we're seeing this in every country, pretty much mm -hmm. across the world, to some degree. In the West, we're seeing this uh, dumbing down this 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 silencing of Christianity uh, on the TV, and you know you can't feel as though you can speak about it much because uh, of offending people, or you know you could get sued or whatever. It's just it's just you know it's it's just awful. It's it's so bad. But again, yeah, be, you know it's not surprising. When I was when I received uh, the Lord Jesus into my life and I changed, you just end up becoming different you feel mm. different you are spiritually different and then it's it's kind of weird how you sort of some of your friends sort of drift away and you, you don't like the things on the tv as much you don't mm. like listening to certain things on the radio and certain opinions uh, kind of annoy you a lot more and you you kind of have more morals in place and uh you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a real change. And I can see why Jesus says about you'll be hated. It's like people have, it's like a polar opposite. It's like mm. if, you, if you're born of the spirit and if you're not born of the spirit, there is a, it's a like conflict. light, it's a conflict of light and darkness. Mm. So people will naturally oppose it. And they don't probably know why they're opposing it. They just, it's just something in them that they just will just hate the message of the gospel. Will just mm. hate, hate the light. Mm. And then there's the other band of people, which uh, Chris was saying before we recorded this, is just this apathy. You know, it's neither hate, it's just it's don't, really don't care, that. you know, mm. don't care. But um, until they've, they, you know, but I think the people that don't care, Chris, actually, could actually come to Christ a bit more because they haven't really heard the Well, even those in the, in the, the opposed, it can, you know, we've seen sort of biblically yeah. speaking, people can come from the darkness to the light and, mm. uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, transformations have happened time and time again over the years and, um this is what we want to see happen, really, that the gospel being pushed. And uh, I don't think I, I don't think China's going to stop it. You can't stop the gospel. I think this, the Lord is moving and he will move if he wants to move. And that's it. And um, and I just pray and hope it really continues to move. There could be a mighty battle or a war there. You just don't know. I think you, you so. Know, you could have some... It's like a clash, isn't it? You're coming, yeah. It's coming to a head. Mm -hmm. And um, again, I just want to move on to another headline, actually. This, this was from yesterday. Again, this is another sign of of this being hated by all nations uh, in Nigeria. A uh, church attack uh, yesterday leaves 19 dead, including two priests. Uh, and they were killed when armed men, these were cattle herders, stormed a Catholic church uh, in a remote village. And the herdsmen also burnt nearly 50 houses during the attack and uh, sacked the entire community. So it's Stuff it's goes dreadful. on Africa, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, 19 dead, they're storming to church, shy everyone and... You know, I believe that they're, they're. I believe they are Muslim. Uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of that, that goes on out there. There's a, a big conflict between the Christian and Muslim communities in parts of Africa. So this is this is guys. This is not one off. This is ongoing. And we don't hear about most of these things. You know, this story's bubbled to the surface, but I can tell you uh, that there are a lot of bad yeah. things going on. There are a lot of persecution that we just do not know about. Oh, definitely. It just doesn't get covered. From Africa, let us know. I know, on, especially on Facebook, we've got a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. A lot yeah. of uh, good folk from Africa, all over um, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Botswana, everywhere. Just you know, let us know how. Uh, let us know about the Christian persecution that you <laughs> face. Let us know uh, your stories. Put them in the yeah. comments below. Love to love to hear mm. from you. But um, but it's, but the thing about Africa, Chris, it's such a powerful Christian. There's so many in powerful parts. Christian yeah. in parts. Yeah. yeah. But then yeah. there's this big Muslim side as well. So the. the I think in Africa they're one of the most vocal. I think Indonesia mm. well is, is pretty big, but you know the African folk very very vocal when it comes to Christianity. You know, is we need to learn a lesson from them. Mm. Uh, mm. But yeah, mm. so yeah, so that's it for this one, guys. Not great news really, but uh, just a sign of the end times, really. As Jesus says, you'll be hated by all nations, and we're seeing this. And uh, yeah, don't be surprised. Don't by be it. surprised. Unfortunately, just just pray that these people who are doing this persecution turn to Christ. As the Lord says, pray for your enemies. Pray yeah. for those who persecute you. This, this is what it's all about. And yeah. uh, we can get them to turn. 
been great, fantastic. Yeah. And I will just quickly mention a bit of a challenge. Just give out some Bibles. Uh, we've got a, a mission in Pakistan at the moment. We've just bought another 800 Bibles and we're giving them out. You know, people need to start giving out more Bibles and that will help bring other people to faith. So mm. just want to encourage, on a small scale, if, you've got, if you're a Christian, and you've got a few friends or family or a cousin that doesn't know the Lord, give them a Bible. Mm. Buy a Bible, give it out. Just do it. Mm. If everyone could just do that, then that would be maybe 10, 20, 30,000 Bibles that are given out. So mm. do consider that one. Mm. I was given a Bible before I knew the Lord Jesus and it helped me into faith mm. a lot. So um, it's real, it's, it's real on my heart to tell you guys to do that. Mm. So buy a Bible, give it to someone. Mm. So mm. Good stuff. All right, great. We'll leave it there. Let us know how you're doing and uh, we'll see you soon.